Now, there are those who love color, artifacts, history, a playground of imagination. And for the aficionados of just contemporary, clean lines, modern aesthetic, we've got something for you. Now, if you found yourself looking to change your wall space and make it exciting or feel like you're in a new house, you could look for what's available for you. Maybe change to brick, vernacular material, flint, mathematical tiles, or you could just come to classic molding and just have it painted. Well, my name's Peter Ngigi. Welcome to Property Focus. And welcome to Classic Moldings, the home of creative interiors. Now, it's a delight, it's a theater of optics. You've got your flooring, you've got your walling, you've got your paints, all of that. And no, this is not a Peter Pan story, this is not pixie dust on this wall, but this is Classic Moldings paint textures. Look at this, it's got sort of a rust rust feel but it's very smooth you've got rust on fondo and you've got a blue rust on fondo right over here looks like metal but magnificent right on this side we've got the calcic huda with the stencil right over here different designs to just make it just pop with a bit of color washes right behind there come along right over here you've got a wall that has been positively charged now, it's been electrified to give this ionic feel, and it's quite beautiful. I actually like it as a piece of art that you could just frame on the wall. Magnificent, right? Right on this side beside me, if you're wondering, you've got a wall over here that's got different textures, which is the stucco marmo. It's got a marble-like sort of feeling and texturized to just give you this look and feel right on the floor you've got your stone tiles that are cut out right over here at classic molding and then on my right you've got your plain colors these are the flat paints on this side coming onto this section you've got your micro marble which can be used by the way as a walling and also flooring paint which leads you on to this section over here where you've got your cornices of course the texturized paint has been used over here you've got your wainscoting that are in white that you could have them to whatever shape size that you so deem fit right over here you've got your cornices coming up with different designs you've got a floral one you've got a plain one you've got a checked one you've got one that's got a shape of curtains and right over there the imperial now you've arrived in life if you've used that particular one because it's huge it's much majestic it's for somebody who wants to feel and sort of just bring color and life to their spaces of course more cornices on this side and they're in two different materials so we've got a ps on this side which is a bit lighter and we've got a pu which is much stronger and tougher you've got the earth metal and also on the interior of this tunnel you've got travertino smooth and pitted chera natural stone on the floor and just a magnificent space in total like it makes sense different colors brought together but as a whole so cohesive and so beautiful now here's where all the drama begins a bit of infusion of different styles coming together a bit of archi a bit of culture cruda coming together like the italians say no and you look at that beauty look at that wall you've got your different colors copper green teal gray it's magnificent and right over here you've got your decorative fireplace which is also in molding and complements that wall very very beautifully bellissimo Mwah! and of course your columns still decorative and these are full columns right over here and this can be segmented which still looks marvelous coming on to this section you've got your natural stone and get this a natural stone stone sink and also the backsplash for this particular section can be in stone as well which is quite ingenious i like it like the curves on this side coming on to this section you've got your zephyro you've got your cristalia you've got your caravaggio i'm telling you it's i'm um, becoming italian at this rate still working on natural stone but come along i'm going to show you something 
So you've got this wall that's got a bit of metal, a bit of more decorative paint that's just art on its own. I mean, you're bringing life to these spaces and not pixie dust. You can get this art classic molding. Now, this is the bedroom section over here. And remember the cones that we talked about? You could use them on the roof and you could also use them on your walls. And you know what? Don't take my word for it. We're going to talk to the experts to tell us a little bit more about some of these things. I mean, wow. Look at that pot. It's quite beautiful. Let's go meet Mukami. Well, fantastic. We just had a tour of the studio and now we're going to have a chat with Mukami who apparently used to be a beautician back in the day and now she's doing walls and spaces and all these beautiful stuff welcome to property focus thank you Karib. it's a classic molding so what is the design process for somebody coming into this space now first of all when you come in the naturally the first thing we do is welcome you mm -hmm. so Karibu to classic moldings and then naturally would also ask you are you a repeat client or how did you come to discover about us mm -hmm. if you're a repeat client then we'll handle you differently because then at least you know some of our products okay. and then we'll want to know what brings you back to us you know mm -hmm. if you are a new client or a working client then we can start again from the reception show you take you through all our products okay. we start from the ceiling we go to the ceiling products we go to the wall finishes be it flat be it textured decorative anything we go to the moldings we go to the natural stone anything that you're interested in, and then we can start planning from there. Wonderful, wonderful. So I hear there's flat and decorative paint. What is the difference? How does it look? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, decorative paint, technically, think about it like this. It's paint with character. Mm -hmm. You want a beautiful space. You want something that will give you that edgy, fashionable. Mm -hmm. Is this it? This is it. This is it. This is actually one of our textured paints we call Vadarame. Vadarame. Vadarame, yes. Okay. Now, if you're comparing to flat, uh, the flat to the textured paint, then yes. it's more about the, the, the texture of the decorative paint because okay. then we're going to talk about okay. how do you want your space to look like? What character do you have? What colors are we looking at? Okay. How is your space formed? Yes. Now, that's majorly it. For flat paint, not to leave it you know, away, okay. uh, we also have different colors and shades of the same thing. You're welcome to have like everything as soon as you walk into the door. Fantastic. Now the cost element. Some may fear it's a bit expensive. What's your take on that? I would love to debunk that, <laughs> if okay. you may. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you allow me, that yes. is. Yes. Now when it comes to the cost matter, yes. we normally have a, different, a wide variety of paints. Mm -hmm. So for the cost, it's really... Uh, is within the planning session because once we come to your place, we also, as we are planning as a group of designers, as QSs, we'll start with you like, what is your cost? What do you think we can, you know, then we can bring you in. What do you think we can do with this cost? We can show you all the products that we have because again, like I mentioned, it's a wide, wide variety of products and anyone is represented because you know the cost cuts it cuts across all our products so we can start with you with the product that you believe that you like if we can give you something that you know you like there if we can custom make something for you yes. then all that is covered without without having to fear about the cost element mm -hmm. because we have this in mind as we're doing that planning with you interesting now give us your parting shot well, the, there's nothing much I could add mm -hmm. besides just saying, welcome to the home of Creative Interviews. Magnificent. Well, thank you very much. Really delighted to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, that's about decorative paint, about molding cornices. If you didn't know what that is, now you already know, and you know where to get it moreover on top of that. Now we're going to have a chat with one Dishon to tell us about the roofing products that also accompany your roof. Let's go have a chat with Dishon. Welcome to Property Focus. Santi Sana Good, good. Good glad to have, to you, have you, you back, man. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Well, I know you, but our viewers need to get to reintroduce yourself once again to our viewers. You could okay. just, yes. Cool. My name is Dishan Monza, as you've okay. just mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, at Classic Moldings here, I'm a roof products specialist. Yes. So the roof products would be your roof windows, your light tunnels, and your loft ladders. Which is quite interesting. I only thought you did decorative paint. I didn't know you were doing roofing products as well. Yes, well, we noticed yes. a gap in the yes. market and uh, we're quick to fill in that gap. 
uh, what we've done is we brought in roof windows so that you can be able to convert your attic spaces into a, into a livable space. Mm -hmm. We brought in light tunnels mm -hmm. for your dark spaces. If you've built your mansion and in the middle there's, no, there's not enough light, then you do your light tunnels. And then for easy access to your attic space, we've got your loft ladders. Fantastic, fantastic. So you've got different products over here. Tell me a little bit about that. Okay, so mm -hmm. cool. So uh, roof windows, our roof windows come in different sizes. What you see here is just a small range, uh -huh. but there are seven different sizes. Mm -hmm. What you see from the outside is yes. aluminium okay. that is covered with polyester. Okay. So it's always like a mm. gunmetal finish. Okay. And then the glass is double glazed. Allow me mm. to just illustrate. So there's okay. an outer glass yes. and there's an inner glass. Okay. This is toughened. Okay. So we can stand both of us on yes. this glass and it yes. won't break. Okay. Then in between there's a vacuum and then there's, a, there's an inner glass, which is just ordinary glass. Mm -hmm. The vacuum is to ensure that the noise from outside doesn't come into your, into your space, correct? Right, right. So what you see again around the window is flashing. Mm -hmm. So flashings come in different types. Yes. There's this, which is for shingles. Okay. Then there's decra flashing, which we call EZV, which has our scutting, a rubber scutting. Mm -hmm. And then there's EHN. So if you have your Portuguese yes. clay tiles, okay. then you'd use the EHN flashing. Fantastic. Correct. So inside, I think I'll show you inside, but yes. it's made of fine pine that's vacuum impregnated and lacquered. Fantastic. Yes. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, give us your parting shot. Cool. So yes. I would like to encourage architects, mm -hmm. contractors, uh, developers, use these products, convert your attic spaces into livable spaces. Provided you have the headroom, provided the pitch is good, yes. convert your attic space into a livable space, get an extra floor. Brilliant. Yes. Wonderful. Don't just stop at the ceiling. Brilliant. Go all the way up. Brilliant. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming on to the show. Karibu. Good, good, good. Karibu. And there we have it from Dishon telling us about the roof products. Now, we've got, uh, we're going to take a short commercial break and we've got Shamona and then the CEO who's been doing this for about 30 years. Man of the hour. Stay tuned for that. This is Prof. Property Focus. Welcome back from the commercial break. Now, you didn't think we we're not going to show you a house tour, or did you? Now, here I'm at a client site. They just recently renovated this place in the plight and height of COVID, and we got this magnificent space. Now, this site has just been commissioned, and the client is extremely happy with classic molding works. So we're going to tour this site and see just what you can do with your wall spaces. Let's go. Now, climbing into the dining room, remember, you can, as an interior designer, you can cleverly distinguish and characterize spaces. Now, what distinguishes this space and the living room is the ceiling. So you've got gypsum right at the top over here and cornices to separate the two spaces. And on this side of the wall, you've got your rusted wall, which has been oxidized to give you this feel. It's particles that have been put and acid that has been painted to give that deep brown rust. Fantastic. Don't you think so? Now, we're going to see other elements and other decorative paints that have been used in this home. It's a fantastic client site, so let's go see the staircase. Come along. Coming up to the staircase, right on the walls over here, escorting me to the attic, you've got stucco mumo, this marble-like finish, which is very elegant and very beautiful. Now, let's check out, apparently, one of the darkest spaces in the homes. This place was infested with roaches. Let's go see. Now, you remember I told you this place was dark and everything and introducing these roofing window products. Let there be light and there is light. Now, there are two ways you could use these windows and they're fantastic. They bring in an obscene amount of light and you could use them in number one this way. Get that breeze in, fresh air, all into this attic space. Or you could use it in its second mode by taking this latch up and closing it and putting it on or opening it once more. So do that, close it, and look what happens when you open it. It's a whole different scene. Look at that. Now... This is the 
bathroom of the century. Actually, I think this is the very best bathroom we've ever seen on this show. On the left, double action window. On the right, double action window. Right back here, floating vanity in natural stone. Of course, you've got the gypsum. And right on top of me over here, you've got the polyurethane panels. Now, that is not wood, but it's made to mimic wood. Look at the stones. This make a very good floating vanity. And the petition that separates the toilet with this other space is all in natural stone. Very beautiful. More windows out over here that just make this quite a delight now we're going to have a chat little chat with a interior architect interior design architect to tell us about her processes and what it takes to become a interior design architect let's go have a chat with shimona well thanks for keeping it property focus as mentioned we're going to have a chat with an interior design architect and a very good looking one might i add welcome to property focus shimona hi peter thank you for having me glad to have you on the show now tell us about yourself well mm -hmm. i am the general manager here at classic moldings and i would firstly like to say that it's such a great honor to be part of a thriving company in the industry in kenya um, being part of such a great team and my experience with classic moldings has allowed me to expand my vision in design you know yes. bring out my creativity and working with such a great team yes. and having Mr. Neumann our CEO as our mentor yes. is such an honor because we learn so much we have the freedom to express ourselves and this is why we're called classic moldings. Now when I walked in I saw a signage right there, yeah? If you think it's expensive to get a professional, why don't you try hire an amateur? What's the importance of getting an interior designer architect or architect interior designer? The importance about getting an interior designer, yes. firstly, let's look at design okay. as a field. Mm -hmm. Design is about a skill that each individual aspires to have in a very unique way. And with this skill comes the art and the expression and the creativity. When you come to us as professionals, we guide you through every single process. We walk hand in hand, take you through every design process, and we create a vision that you probably thought could never happen. Secondly, looking at design in the point of view as designers, we have some unique traits because we're constantly enhancing our creativity. We all design in different unique ways. We create concepts that may not relate to other designers, but it's our own unique designs that we create. And this comes through our clients because they allow us to create these visions. Secondly, not only having designers um, on board brings out the creativity, but it also helps you when it comes to cost because we help you avoid unnecessary costs in the industry. Mm -hmm. And this allows you as a client to save money mm -hmm. and to add value to your property as well. Well, there you have it from Shimona herself. Now we're gonna see the man who's brought the impossible and made it possible. Stay tuned, we've got the CEO coming up next. And now with the man of the hour himself, Mr. Moshe Neumann, how are you doing, sir? Very good. Tell us about yourself. Well, uh, I came to Kenya 36 years ago. Yes. And because of my dream to live in Africa. Yes. So you do the math. I came when I was 30. Yes. After uh, being employed for a while. Um, and then I had the urge to open uh, classic moldings. Okay. At the time, it was only... Uh, cornices, uh, ceiling medallions, and the more classical mm -hmm. uh, range of mouldings. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how we started. So yeah. more, more people are coming in and they want to change their spaces. Absolutely. I love this client site. I like what you've done with the roofing and everything. Yes. Which begs the question, what new trends do you have at Classic Mouldings? So look, we develop the, the existing materials. Mm -hmm. For example, take moldings that originally are regarded yes. as classical. Yes. 
Moldings doesn't have to be classical, it can be super modern. Mm -hmm. When you see ceilings with some straight lines, uh, not on this side, yes. but we do it a lot. Um, there is a, a whole range of ranges of modern moldings mm -hmm. that do different tricks of interiors. Yes. And moldings is also, the purpose of molding, for example, yes. is to straighten line, to give you a neat finish. Yes. And the quality, you know, we bring uh, our moldings from Belgium, from two fantastic uh, mm. companies. Um, and uh, like, uh, there is something very important to tell you, uh, Peter, mm -hmm. that Moldings can be misleading even if they look the same. A molding shouldn't shrink or, you know, or expand. Ours don't. If you look very well, very carefully at the molding, try and find one joint. There is no joint. Exactly. So the quality of the products we bring, the upgrade of the, the styles, is what, uh, what's happening. We have new areas that we intend to go in. Mm -hmm. And I can't disclose all, yes. but I can tell you that the idea is to provide interior design companies, mm -hmm. like planning uh, interiors. Yes. We just had dinner with them yesterday evening. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, also modernizing and going beyond mm -hmm. I'll give you what is beyond. Mm -hmm. Now we have finishes mm -hmm. that were in the old days an absurd. For example, corrosion, mm -hmm. rust. Mm -hmm. Today, some of our most beautiful walls, as I may take you later yes. uh, for around uh, on this site, and you will see that corrosion, rust, is a beautiful element. Like what we have here. Absolutely. And I can see this is actual copper and you actually oxidize this so it comes out like this. Yes, mm -hmm. with a friendly uh, acid. Yes. Uh, the paint, the so-called paint contains metal, mm -hmm. iron per particles. Mm -hmm. And then once it sets, yes. we apply acid. Wherever we apply more, or more times, yes. it just rusts. Wonderful. And that's the beautiful color. Wonderful. Give us your parting shot. Uh, well, mm -hmm. interiors is there to provide beauty, mm -hmm. to change your mood. Mm -hmm. If you, as a wife or a husband, mm -hmm. have too many fights, Change the interiors, you'll feel better. But I really mean it that interiors mm -hmm. and aesthetics mm -hmm. make people feel much better. Fantastic. And even kids appreciate it. Environment, why do we like to go to a nice river and sit on the river bank? Or why do we like water? Why do we like, we like things that make us happy and interiors Yes. is the closest we can do because it's at our own home. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for coming on to the show. That was the man of the hour, Mr. Neumann Moshen himself. Or did I get it right? Mo Moshen Neumann himself. And he's the maestro within this industry, an authority figure to tell us about this. Thank you very much for coming on to the show. It's a great pleasure. From Caravaggio to Calce Cruda, You've seen the different array of all these moldings, beams, and uh, so much more. It's not pixie dust from a Peter Pan story. No, all of this is from classic molding. I've been your host, Peter Ngigi. Thanks for keeping it property focused. Do hope you enjoyed yourself. Catch you next week, same time, same place. Ciao.